Welcome to Birdie Buzz, where we bring you the latest news and updates on everything golf. Today, we're discussing the significant changes that the PGA Tour has made to its 2024 designated events. The PGA Tour Policy Board has approved a new designated event model for the 2024 season, which will feature smaller fields and no cuts. These changes are aimed at ensuring that the top players compete more frequently and against each other, providing golf enthusiasts with the ultimate showdowns. PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan sent a memo to tour players on Wednesday, March 1st, explaining the changes in detail. We've got all the information you need, so stay tuned as we dive into the 2024 PGA Tour schedule. This passage discusses changes to the structure of golf tournaments on the PGA Tour, which were announced in a memo. These changes will take effect in 2024 and will not affect the major tournaments, the Players' Championship, or the three FedEx Cup playoff events. The new structure will involve eight select designated events that will consist of 70 to 80 players and won't have a cut. The fields for these events will be comprised of the top 50 players from the previous year's FedEx Cup points list and the top 10 not otherwise eligible from the current year's list. Golfers who are not already eligible will have opportunities to play their way into these designated events through various means, such as earning the most FedEx Cup points in tournaments between designated events or winning during the 2024 season. The final spots in those fields will be made up of PGA Tour members in the top 30 of the official World Golf Ranking, plus four sponsor exemptions for Tour members. Additionally, the article mentions that players were previously required to play in 16 of this season's 17 designated events, plus three more non-designated events, to receive their full player impact program payouts. However, this requirement will be lifted next season. The new structure is designed to incentivize top performers to participate in the designated events, and the eight designated events for 2024 will be selected at a later date. PGA Tour makes big changes to 2024 designated events, including smaller fields and no cuts. After creating big money designated events for 2023 that guaranteed the top players would compete together more often, the PGA Tour Policy Board approved more changes to those tournaments for the 2024 season. In a memo to tour players sent on Wednesday, PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan said the tour is moving forward with what it's calling the designated event model. The changes will not affect the majors, players' championship, or the three FedEx Cup playoff events. Players will no longer be required to play in 16 of this season's 17 designated events and three more non-designated events to receive their full player impact program, known as PAP, payouts. Instead, the tour has created a new structure that incentivizes top performers to participate in the designated events. According to PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan, the eight designated events for 2024 will be selected at a later date, and they may differ from this year's events. The changes were made in part due to the threat of LIV Golf, a competitor that launched last June with $25 million purses. The new schedule is designed to benefit both players and fans, and Monaghan believes that the cadence will be just right. The no-cut, smaller field news for select events brought plenty of reaction from players and fans. It also, not surprisingly, caught the attention of former PGA Tour players who have since left for LIV Golf. Ian Poulter and Lee Westwood, and even the official LIV Golf Twitter account, pointed out perceived similarities to LIE's 54-hole, 48-man field, no-cut formats. Some PGA Tour players addressed the changes in press conferences at this week's Arnold Palmer Invitational. We've always had no-cut events on this tour, said Rory McIlroy. If you think of like the four WGCs, you've got the three playoffs events, you've got the CJ Cup, the Zozo. So there's precedent there for no-cut events. The only reason no-cut events are a big deal is because LIV has come along. So there is precedent for no-cut events. There's been no-cut events since I've been a member of the tour, and way beyond that as well. It keeps the stars there for four days. You ask MasterCard or whoever it is to pay $20 million for a golf event, they want to see the stars at the weekend. They want to guarantee that the stars are there. So if that's what needs to happen, then that's what happens world know. To Scotty Scheffler, 
also defended the idea of limited fields, adding that it will protect some of the non-designated events, such as last week's Honda Classic, which had its weakest field since 2007. If you imagine you have 120 guys in the fields this year, those 50 additional guys that are not going to be in the fields next year are all playing the events this year, and you're seeing a lot of other tournaments on our schedule suffer because of that," Scheffler said. Let's say if you're the 100th guy in the world or over or whatever, you're going to try and play in those $20 million purses, and if you're in the event, how can you skip it? It's double the money and all that stuff. But now, all of a sudden, you have those 50 guys that aren't going to be playing in the next event, and that event is going to suffer, and there's a chance we'd lose events because of that. He added good play will still be rewarded with the chance to play for the biggest prizes. You got to earn your way still out here on tour, he said. There's plenty of avenues for guys to earn their way into those tournaments, whether it's this year or next year, with the eligibility for tournaments being top 10 from current FedEx Cup and there's other ways to get in the events. Monaghan also announced other changes, such as the adjustment of the FedEx Cup points model with the allocation of additional points to the players, majors, and designated events. The Player Impact Program, PIP, will also be reduced from $100 million and 20 players to $50 million and 10 players. The additional $50 million will be reallocated to the FedEx Cup Comcast Business Tour Top 10 Bonus Pools. Monaghan will address the changes in person with players during a Tuesday meeting at next week's Players' Championship, the PGA Tour's flagship event. I hope you guys like the video and for more stuff like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. See you soon, goodbye.